Like this, this is really it. And you still don't miss. You're gonna be locked in with your forehead all the way to the monitor, concentrating on every pixel, looking at all of the frame data, just like I'm doing right now. And guess what? You're still gonna miss some shots. Hey guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents from my daddy. Good afternoon, not there, 2K Lab. Man, y'all already see it in the background, man. We got that bag up game, man. Bag up game gear. Oh, it's already on the site, man, where the bag is always up, man. Y'all make sure y'all holler at my boy T, man. But that ain't what y'all here for, man. Y'all are here to learn how to shoot this rock and not only shoot the rock, but get some tips, pause on shooting the ball. And that's what I got for y'all, man. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video and comment y'all thoughts down below. Y'all already know what I was, where we're trying to go with this thing. To the moon, Alice! Ain't nobody told y'all this today. Y'all, my brothers, my sisters, my family, love each and every last one of y'all, man. Look, five, five of these things to get y'all these jumpers, man. Get these jumpers. First thing, I mean, uh, first thing you want to do, man, you got to find your jumper that looks good feels good and like if it feels look good and feel good you're gonna hit it um and you want to make sure that it looks good from all angles i'm gonna tell y'all this right now this is a bonus one the corners are super fast especially if you got your lethal there but um you know everywhere else like i don't i don't have i don't have um i got neutral everywhere else i just got i got one hot zone on the left hot one hot zone on the right get your hot zones get your lethal that's that's the first thing i can tell you because there is going to be a difference in the jump shot with your hot zone or your lead. It just is what it is. I don't know why it is like that, but over here, I don't have a lethal and I got a cold spot right in front of me. And if I am not locked in, I like, I just have trouble shooting the basketball, man. So that's number one, hot zones and lethals. And uh, I think they said with lethal, you can close out, but you cannot, um, you can close out, but you can't quit because, or and it'll be incomplete. So that's number one. Get your lethals. Number two, like I said, get you a jump shot that uh that look. And you see, I'm shooting on three v three rank, so this is the highest difficulty that you can shoot the basketball on in here. That's number two. Whatever game mode you're going to play, shoot on that game mode, man. Just if you're gonna be playing regular part, shoot on regular part. If you're gonna be playing proven ground in three v three rank. That's what you need to be shooting on. That and wreck, and I don't know why, bro. Let me, let me get it. This, this is bothering me, man. Like, when I'm telling you, you got to be locked in, forehead to the monitor, every shot, bro, that's this game. You got to be, so So if you got to be dead locked in and you shooting with something that you don't, that you don't really uh, like, bro, that's, that's, it, it, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna make you mad. And you gonna miss. It just is what it is. You're gonna miss some shots. But that's number two right there. I'm cashing with this joint, man. Let me get y'all the jump shot real quick before we get up out of here, bro. That's two, that's that's tip number two. Number one, obviously flavor jump shot. Number two, practice on what you need to be practicing on. Number three, locked in, like, like just locked in like never before. We got some bonus, it's gonna be more than five, man. This is gonna be tips tips to get y'all there this is the jump shot though dyson daniels is the base uh scotty pippen release number one 81 percent 19 percent uh of of oscar just to, so he can get it up above his head man you're gonna need that man and this, this right here is uh the set point is one two three four five six seven eight nine from here from here so right here one two three four five six seven eight nine the visual cue is when the ball is about to touch his head. We could probably, I had it on 12. I had a couple of lates in there. So let's let's put it on 10. When you change it, it will, I mean, we got an A release, C, uh, C release height, defensive immunity is good. And this is the best I could get for, for my guy that's an 80 or whatever, man. Um, another thing, you see that Gatorade? Bro, make sure you got you some Gatorade. Because if you don't got Gatorade, I promise you. All right, that was still says late. Now, what I'm trying to do is is alleviate the slightly late or whatever because I want to release it. I changed the release a little bit, so like I want it to be as soon as it touches the forehead. But if I if I react a little later, it'll still work. That's what I'm trying to get. But uh, 
I've not been able to to tune it. But that's what you can do. Tune. That's another tip. Tune your jump shot so that you can exactly for what you want it to be, bro. And you're gonna miss out this mug, bro. So don't 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 let nobody tell you that they out there just splashing everything and, and ain't nobody missing because because you're gonna miss in this you're gonna miss in this game. It just is what it is. But as long as you got a jump shot that you like looking at and you can get all of your um you get your you know you get your your hot spots and stuff like I said you get them lethals and you get everything you should be completely fine. But uh I, I want to see what's going to happen when I get my guy. And I'm I, I'm actually too far out. I'm pretty sure it still went in, though. And like I said, with the 3v3. Another thing, make sure you get some Gatorade, man. That Gatorade is important. Like, without Gatorade, bro, you're going to have to be shooting every shot almost uh, at full stamp. Like, no lie. You're going to have to be shooting every shot almost at full stamp if you don't get your Gatorade. And, and that's just how it is because because I had Gatorade and I'm playing with you know with the Gatorade and muscle milk and stuff and it's like I said it's just, it's it's hard to shoot in this game especially on this one and talk to y'all at the same time so y'all forgive me it's a good jump shot y'all see the cue and all that so we ain't got to do that um if you fail your joint like I did because I'm the guinea pig for y'all make sure you concentrate you cannot quit out of your gatorade drills anymore you will get incomplete it won't work look if you fail like i did buy this gatorade right here this is the one that that it'll it will allow you to this one will allow you to get the extra bar bars and so you got bars in here or whatever and like i said man that's that's just gonna help you out uh tremendously and like I said, don't be afraid to, I've given y'all the jump shot. Don't be afraid to change it up and put it where you want it to be. Put the, uh, you can put the tail exactly where you want it to be. And the difference between three, if y'all want to know the size uh, with 3v3 Pro Am and stuff, the shots are a lot slower in there and, and in wreck it feels like, man, it, it depending on the situation. Because when we improving grounds, bro, my shots out of this corner just feel like, like sand, like 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 just quick sand, bro. I can't. It's like he just don't want to shoot the ball. It's it's hard to get it out your hand, bro. So it is what it is. So that's that's another thing to be mindful of. And like I said, talk to lead the shooter, get your hot spot. So look, look, talk to lead the shooter, get your hot spot. Make sure you're shooting with Gatorade. Number three, make sure you're shooting with take, or some take. If you play defense first, you're normally gonna get a board, and now you can shoot with take. You're good. N the next one. Make sure you customize the jump shot as much as you possibly can. Get it to exactly how you want it when you want to shoot the ball. And then uh, number five is you're going to have to just practice, bro. You really just going to have to come in here and just practice, 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 practice. You're not going to be able to just do what you want to with this game. You're going to have to practice, man, like like forehead to the monitor, concentrating. Do what you got to do, man. Whatever it is, whatever that looks like, you gonna have to practice, and just like you gotta be, you you gotta be locked in when you shoot, like 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 this right here, like this. This is really it, and you still don't miss. You are gonna be locked in with your forehead all the way to the monitor, concentrating on every pixel, looking at all of the frame data, just like I'm doing right now. And guess what? You're still gonna miss some shots because. Um, because they they broke it down for us and told us like what 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 it is um, and how it works and this is the last tip I got for y'all make sure you go to your settings go to go to here shot time and profile do high risk high reward if you do difficulty based right or whatever the, the normal difficulty base, I don't know, the impact of your time and jump shots automatically adjust to the match, uh, to, to match the difficulty you're playing on. We don't care about that. Um, dude, uh, you can't do that. Low risk, you're only gonna hit 40% of your shots. It doesn't matter how well you time them. Here, you're only gonna hit 60%. It doesn't matter how well you time them. So that doesn't mean you're gonna hit here, you're gonna, hit, you're gonna shoot 40% of the world fall apart. You can miss every shot, miss time everything, and you're gonna shoot around 40%. So if you're trash, use this one. If you're decent, this one, you're gonna hit 60% of 
uh, 60% of well time shots and about 10, 10, 20%. So you're going to hit a, you're going to hit a combined, maybe, maybe 30% or 25%. If you're terrible at shooting, if you're good at shooting, you're probably going to shoot a max of like 60. And that's if you time everything absolutely correctly here, you can hit them all. If you put it on high risk, high reward, you can hit every single shot that you take if you time it properly. However, if you're on the periphery, you see the ones that be bouncing around on the rim and stuff like that. When I time it, I don't time it absolutely perfectly. You're only going to hit about 60% uh, of those. So I would say high risk, high reward. You ain't gonna, like if you put it on low risk, low reward, it doesn't matter how well you time it. You're shooting 40%, period. That's it. You, you, gonna, you know what I'm saying? You're going to miss shots that you perfectly timed and you're just going to be mad. If you're not very good at shooting, it's fine. Just use that. At least 40% is better than, 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 you know, whatever. But if you're, if you're decent, put it on the other one. You'll hit around 60, um, hit around 50, 50 ish. You'll hit a little bit more. And then the last one is up to you, but you probably get, once we get shooting all the way down, you probably hit around 60, but let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. If y'all adhere to those rules, I promise you'll be a better shooter and you're going to be a shooter shooter, man. But, uh, I'm about to get out of here. I'm about to go watch football. And um, I'll be streaming in a little while, man. Y'all get this video up, and I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop. Be careful, people. Stand up. Guys, please. Guys, please.